Well, good morning. It's very early. It's 8 o'clock. It is Tuesday, September 13th. Today would have been my father's 91st birthday. Uh, my dad's been gone 33 years. Doesn't seem possible. At the time when he died, he was 58, and I thought, well, you know, he's old. He's lived his life. And now I'm 66, and I realize how young that really was. <laughs> it really was. Um, I was 33. I was lost. I was just lost. I love my father so much. My father was a lot like me. We weren't huggers. And uh, I think I'm a lot like my dad. Denise is my mom, without a doubt. Denise is my mom. But I'm my dad. I am my dad. And uh, he, uh, I, I, we knew he loved us. Just didn't express it by hugging and saying I love you and things, but just different things that he does. I do tell people I love them but uh, never doubted my father's love. But uh, I woke up this morning and I found my new determination, my new dedication to my weight. Uh, you've all stuck with me for so long. You've all been so good to me. And uh, it's time I pay back the favor. Um, I wore this shirt yesterday. As you know, I, in the morning when I get up, I usually take my shower right away and that keeps me from walking. So now I'm gonna take my walk and then my shower, so whatever shirt I had on the day before is what I'm going to wear in the morning. <laughs> but uh, this one says, I don't know if I get back up enough without losing it, but it says, I got your back. So I've got your back. You've had my back since last November. <laughs> so it's time I repaid the favor. It's uh, a little cool, which my walking weather, it's 58. It's supposed to go up to 80 today. And... Um, I don't know. I, I think I'm, I read my passage, Gina Pearson, thank you very much. I uh, started my day off with that. And uh, I just feel the spirit of my father in me today. I think he's telling me to get my butt moving, that uh, I don't want to die a young age like he did. Um, he had a disease and that's why he died. It wasn't because, you know, it might have been because he wasn't healthy. I don't know. But uh, I, I know I don't want to die. Well, nobody wants to die. I know, morbid thought, early in the morning. So um, I've reset all my walking gears on my phone. So I have my map, my walk reapplied. Re, uh, I deleted it, believe it or not, I deleted it, but I re, what do you call it, rebooted it. And uh, I can tell it's September, my sinuses are already starting. So got my Kleenex, because I know that I'm gonna need that, because it's, there's a lot of trees and bushes and flowers and stuff. Speaking of flowers, off on a rant, but i got to throw mine away. They're all dead. So, well, enough babbling. I've delayed this walk long enough. I have a new purpose. I have a new dedication. And um, I'm back. I really am back. I'm going to eat right. I'm going to do everything I need to do to lose this weight. So let's get started. Let's get moving. Let's get fit. Okay, not my fastest mile. <clears throat> Excuse me. Told you, sinuses. Um, it took me 23 minutes to walk one mile. I usually can walk a mile. I usually, when I was walking really well, I walked three miles in 53 minutes or something like that. So that would be what? Three goes into five. One, 20. About 18 minutes, 17, 18 minutes a mile. So I'm out of shape. But... It's a mile farther than I walked yesterday. That's all I got to say. And um, I think I found my mojo. I'm not going to promise I found my mo mojo. But I think I'm going to dedicate this year in my father's memory. Maybe that'll get me the kickstart that I needed. Because uh, you guys have all been giving me kickstarts. And I just haven't, I haven't let it kick me in the ass like I should have. But uh, I have a new purpose now. So not that I never had a purpose. I have a purpose. But... I'm determined this time. The holidays are going to be on me before you know it. And uh, I'd like to at least get back to where I was last November, <laughs> by November 23rd. I think I was 262, so that's like 21 pounds. So I have a, a high goal to achieve, but I am going to achieve it. I know it. So um, I'm going to go in there now and drink a couple glasses of water. And... Then we're going to go down and tackle the basement. Then I'm going to take my shower. Or as we used to tease my nephew Steve when he was little, whenever he took a shower, he'd always sing. 
you go taking a shower taking a shower so now we always say that as a joke so um and what else am i gonna do oh i have to go to kroger's because uh roasts are on sale the sale ends today it's buy one get one free and i'm planning on having a roast on friday for dinner so i'm going to buy that today and turkey breasts are on sale 99 cents a pound so i'm going to get a turkey breast for next week so to save a little bit of money I uh, have to go over to David's school today to sign the forms to make it official that I, I'm going to be his go guardian, at least for school, you know, activities and things like that. I've already set up a couple conferences to talk to the teachers. And what else? Oh, so, uh, Sebastian has a soccer game tonight, so I'm going to go to the soccer game. So I have a busy day. Busy, busy, busy. And my hat. Love this day. And it's the day that I'm back rededicating myself. And um, I'm going to live up to the title that Denise came up with the, for this channel, Let's Get Fit. I'm never going to be skinny, but I'm going to lose weight. And I'm never going to be skinny, but I'm going to be healthy. And I'm never going to be skinny, but I'm going to get fit. So let's get fit. Well, my math was off. I only have to lose 11 pounds to get back to where I was at. Subtracted wrong. So it makes it a little more encouraging. But uh, what I found very ironic was when I got back from my walk and after we cleaned the basement, I was reading my emails and I get a daily quote, which by the way, I haven't done in a while. But anyway, I get a daily quote mailed to me, to my email. And it was from Confucius that says, one small step starts your journey. <laughs> So that's what I needed to do is take that one small step. I'm glad I walked. I feel so much more refreshed. Now I'm on my way over to David's school to sign all the paperwork. Um, as I've told you before, uh, the, where he was living, uh, David and uh, my, Jimmy's my son. Him and Cindy are divorced. And Jimmy lives in a different school district. And uh, where Cindy was living, they sold the house that she was renting. So she has to move. So she's moving into another school district as a temporary thing because she couldn't find a place right away. So David's going to live with me until she can find another place that's in this school district. So Alyssa's still going to go and then come to my house after school because she can go to Latchkey. But uh, uh, Cindy's a teacher, and so she's, by the time, she, there's no way she could get David to school, you know, and get to her work on time. So the better situation is just to have David live here for a while. He's a good kid. I don't have a problem with that. So I'm on my way to his school to sign all the paperwork. Ah, shaky. See you later. Well, the two rooms down the basement are clean. Two down, two to go. Time for breakfast. Cheerios, toast, tea, and water. Okay, the school's all taken care of. I just got to get some forms notarized. And now I'm at Kroger's. See what I, trouble I can get to in here. Okay, went to the dollar store. And I bought five of these baskets to kind of organize underneath my sink with all my cleaning supplies, which they kind of go half, half hazard right there now. And then I bought the kids some Halloween backpacks that they can put on their backs and put their candy in. I got this one for Oliver. Kind of scratch, I know. I got this one for Sebastian. And I got a pumpkin for Sophia. So we'll see how they like it. It was $2.99, but it was at the dollar store, which I thought everything at the dollar store was supposed to be a dollar. But I think they're worth three dollars each. Since my gas tank said I only had 10 miles till empty, I figured I should get some gas. It's $2.09. So I'm going to fill her up. I feel like the senior citizen eating at the early bird special for dinner. Um, I'm going to have a big salad with some strawberries and half a cup of cottage cheese, iced tea, and glass of water. Sebastian's game is at 6 o'clock. i got to leave about 5.30. And if I wait to eat when I get home, I'll make a bad choice. Not that a salad this big is a good choice, but I have an ounce of provolone cheese and a half an ounce of feta cheese my mixed salad, tomatoes, cucumbers, and uh, I think it's like an ounce of uh, shredded Polish ham. And the rest that I already told you about. Okay, Sebastian's going to make the kick. They're ready. There he goes. He's going to go home.
Kicking the ball, you did really well. <laughs> Good enough. Oliver's not even on the team, but he was first in line to get a snack. <laughs> That's your dinner? Is that your dinner? Here you go. Here. No, that's Grandma's chair. Leave it alone. You want to put this, those turtles in There's the bag? There's Sebastian. All right, that's going to about do it. Um, I think I'm going to have a little bag of nuts for a snack because I'm kind of hungry. It's about 8 o'clock, and uh, Sebastian, they don't keep score, but his team did pretty well. He, uh, When he was a goalie, he prevented three goals from being made. But uh, there was one kid on the other side. He was a really good soccer player. He was six years old, but it's like he's been playing soccer for 20 years. He was really, really good. So uh, I've got 95, 72 steps in today. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk around the house a little bit to get to that 10,000. Um, Jim's not here, so I don't have to worry about getting in his way in front of the TV. And uh, I'm just going to walk in a loop-de-loop -loop circle. I'm going to walk around there, come back around, walk around there, come back around for 500 steps. I might walk down the hall, <laughs> too. So... Um, I'm going to get 10,000 steps in today. I'm just so proud of myself. And tomorrow I'm hoping I get up early enough I can walk before I go to water aerobics and just walk a mile. That's all I need to do. And try to shave off a minute or two. I think I, I can't remember. I think it was 23 minutes. I'm going to try for 21 and a half. Going to shoot, shoot the moon, as they say. <laughs> See if I can do it. But um, I did really well in my eating. Um, so anyway, let's uh, remember to like this video subscribe comment share and what else are we gonna do let's think hmm let me think let's get fit <laughs>